Hello everybody, this is Simeonski again and today I'm going to show you how to use trigger volumes and key objects in order to trigger things and we will also have a, a little bit more complex example for that as well. So let's go for it. Alright, I'm inside my macro room here. We turn on anything to crit. So, how to use the trigger volumes in, uh, uh, co in combination with objects? Because we already showed you, I already showed you how to use the trigger volumes. Um, search for it. Trigger. In combination with yourself, basically, or with any player that enters. Um, I showed you that before. Yeah, this one player entered, you enter, something happens, player exited, something else happens. We did this with a light where we connected player entered um, to turn on the light and player exited to turn off the light. I will not do this again. I will focus on objects now here and how to use this in a good way. So let's create an object, simple object again. We will just have a basic shape, we'll have a cube. And we configure this. Um, we will configure this as physical. So we fall down and grabbable, so we can get it, carry it around, put it in this box. Yeah, that's the box. Let's mark the box just for now, so we, we will be able to see where it is. Hmm. Yeah, let's use the tube and the surface, and we will. I will mark the ground here. So we will always be able to see where we have our trigger zone, so to speak. Of course, you don't need to do that <laughs> because you will see your trigger zone um, when you have your makeup pen. I will just do this for convenience now so we can see better on the video what's happening. So. How do we trigger anything when the object is entered? Let's say um, if the object, let's, let's start with a very easy thing now. When this object enters, we want to turn on the light again because I like to use the light as a, uh, as it, as a visible example point light, very bright one. Um, just put it next to it, make it very light again. So, yeah, so it's, it's very noticeable. All right. So easiest way, of course, would be we just do it like we do with the did with the player. Object entered, turn on light, object exited, turn off light. So let's test it. Light is on, light is off. Light is on, light is off. But this now will trigger when any object is going in there. So I can have several objects, um, but I want this box specifically work when I put this this specific box here inside not anything else if I have any other box it, it shouldn't trigger how do I do this first you go to the box and go down and give it a special tag let's call it cube for this example enter and then it adds the tag cube to this, to this object so, I have to put something in between here. 
and this is um, where the if chip comes in. I will use the if chip. Oh, there's even a new chip that's called if hashtag. I don't even need the normal if chip. I can use the if hashtag chip here. I only need one, I don't need two. And there you can already see. It's a connection of the if chip and the hashtag chip. You can also use the um, that's just uh, just for explanation. You could also, and I think in the past it was done like this, you could also use the if chip and the has tag chip. And this is kind of a combination. If you want to use, if you would use the if chip, then you would have to connect this to this and put these things in here and then it does what is here. So it's basically, this is a combination. So use the if has tag chip Course you the same one chip that. So what does it do? We disconnect these two things and then we put in the object object entered. So this is the uh, object that enters it and it will check if it has the tag and the tag would be cube. And if it has the tag, then it will turn on the light. If it doesn't have the tag, nothing is happening. Or I could also do something like, okay, if I add another object, it would turn off the light. I could do something like this. But for this example, I wanted to just uh, turn on the light when I entered cube object. And then I can connect the this to this so when any object is in and going out it will turn off the light but that's all right you could also uh, put the if hashtag in between and all only turn off the light when the cube goes out if anything else goes out it doesn't turn off the light but for this example now we just do like that and maybe let's uh, create another object just to show you how this works. So we have a cube, so let's put a cylinder. And also make it physical and grabbable. So now we have two objects. We have this and we have the cube. If I put in the cube, light turns on. If I put out the cube, light turns off. If I take the cylinder, you see nothing is happening. But as I said this now, if I turn in the cube and take out the cylinder, it should also turn off the light. So, so that's one thing how you can work with objects. So how uh, let's do a more complex um, complex thing that will also use some other um, some other uh, uh, things that we have here some other uh, some other circuits that we learned before let's say we want to have two platforms uh, two places to put things let's say here this can be used especially I would use this for escape room style games I will also give an example later on in a, in a full-out escape room game. But let's say we don't want to turn on the light right now. No, we want to do a check. Box check. So let's uh, do it for this sake. Do it uh, now with a button. Um, and let's say we want to we want to turn on the light or we want to we don't want to turn on the light right away but what do we want to do here 
So let's put this to very bright so we can easily see it on the video and it's turned off. So what we want to do here is this light should only turn on. Oh, let's put the uh, fence again so we can see it. Uh, see where the second second boxes. So let's say we put this here. And maybe we will recolor it just for the sake of making it as convenient as possible. Let's recolor this thing as well. So, yeah, super convenient. Okay. So what we want to do now is if this object is in there and this object is in there, then this button will work. Otherwise, if anything else, if any, yeah, if, if the things are not in there or something else is in there, it will not work. So this would be something that you can super easily use for yeah, an escape room game or something where you need to find things and put it in the right spot. So for here, we already have it. We have the if hashtag cube, then something happens. Otherwise, nothing happens. Super convenient. We will just, for this sake, I want to just copy this. Because I also want if the object is exited, something happens, otherwise nothing happens. Only for this object. So you can do whatever with the other object, but if the cube is in there, it will trigger something. And now the booleans come in here handy. So we have we will have a boolean variable. that we put behind this and we call it cube check. So the name is not important. It's just important that you know, uh, remember it. So I call it cube check. So it will check if the cube is it. And it's connected. So if the cube is inside, has the tag, I will turn it to true. And if the cube is going out again, I will call, uh, turn it to false. That's it. Here we go. And you can easily just copy these things here. Clone and flip. And we, we can just easily use this. And now we want to have the the other object in here, let's call it. Um, let's give it a hashtag um, attack as well. Not hashtag attack. And we call it cone. Is it a cone? But let's call it cylinder. Cylinder. Do you write cylinder like this? Okay, cylinder, we call it cylinder. Let me check. Well, how is it called here, actually? Is it called cylinder or...? Yeah, we call it cylinder. Yeah. Just to be... So, this is, of course, not connected anymore here. So, I have to connect to object entered. Which object is entered? And object exited and define the object here. And I will have to change this from cube to cylinder. As well as this one. Change to cylinder. And then, this is pretty true and false, but I have to change the name to 
to vendor <laughs> check it's a pretty long one you can take a yeah you can do shorter ones of course it just has to be the same see check so so what does this do now just uh, to make sure if I add the cylinder to this, uh, if I add an object to this, it checks what object is entered, it checks the tag. And if this object has exactly the same tag, which is cylinder for now, then it will turn the cylinder check ball boolean to true. If it's uh, taken out and has the tag cylinder, it will put the cylinder check to false. So this doesn't do much yet. But now, what we can do here, we will work with if chips now. The ones I already showed you, we will have, we will need two if chips. First if chip checks if the cube y value is true. The second one will check for the cylinder. cylinder. And we will have to add the boolean here as well. So, boolean variable, boolean variable. So, that's all you need. You have to give the right name. So it's connecting to the right uh, boolean. Cube check, and then you have cylinder check so you don't don't need to do anything here because we just want to check the output so if the output cube check is true then the uh, the chain continues and checks if the output cylinder check is true then return on the line. Let's say if, if it's wrong, uh, we want to turn uh, off the light. If it's, if it's already turned on and we press it again and this is not happening, we want it to turn off. So we go just, just connect the both, both of the else things to turn off. So it will always turn off if any of these values is not true. So let's check if it works. And then I will explain shortly what it does again so put this in here we would put this in here and now if i press it the light should turn on and there it is so if i take anything out here it's turning off also if i put this in here and this in here which is not uh, doesn't have the right tech doesn't have the right color nothing happens only if i have this object in here this object in here with a light turn. So basically what it does, and we can also see this now here, now this value is true, and this value is true. So I already told you that uh, if, if the right thing is in there, it will do it put the value to true, as you see here. And then the value, because it's the same name, will also be true here. It's checking both of the values and turning on the light if you put the object to the right spot. So that's how you use trigger volumes and tags and objects to trigger it. Thank you guys for watching again. As always, like and subscribe and visit my extra room that I built to show off the things that you can do and to give you a little bit insight, especially when the circuits come up, that you can just check out, make a selfie, post it, whatever. and. Uh, yeah, see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.